children have always been the foundation and the future of every nation across the world. To date, children still remain the true joy and pride of every family in every home. Our children are the ones who are supposed to carry the ignited torches, saturated with society's traditions, beliefs, principles and values. Just like any other part of the world, not all children in Guyana are fortunate enough to live the ultimate satisfied lifestyle. But the children who are a part of the Rheinfeld Children's Aid Center are certainly not unfortunate. The Rheinfeld Children's Aid Center is an established non-profit, non-governmental, charitable organization that seeks to elevate the lives of our children through a positive self-image and well-balanced personality. Welcome to the Rheinfeld Children's Aid Center! This aid center was registered since 1991 and currently has a total of approximately 70 children who all benefit equally from the various classes and activities of the center. 40! 40! All right, go and find 40. Uh-huh, and what else? All right, all right, go come back. Good, very good. 47, 48, 49, 50. 1 and 50, 2 and 50. 59 When do we wash our hands? When you come from the washroom. Eat. Eat. When Sit down. Time. Clean up. Go to the washroom. Yep. When else do we wash our hands? When we when we finish playing, right? Playing in the dirt. Yes. Finish eating as well before maybe we go back to our work. Finish using the washroom. Put our hands under the water. Put our hands in the water and start getting them water wet. Start getting our hands wet. And then if there's soap, we're going to put on some soap and start washing our hands with our soap in between the fingers. Do you guys want to do it with me too? In between the fingers, on top of our hands, all over our wrists, and then we're going to wash them out from the water. Knowledge and education have propelled mankind throughout centuries to the point of technological warfare between countries and even cloning and visiting the moon. Children of the Rheinfeld Children's Aid Center are no exclusion to the technological world. This afternoon we'll be doing some very simple artwork using the mouse. Now, with the mouse and doing the artwork, it will help you to have better hand movement with the mouse itself. It will teach you basically to move the mouse up and down, side to side, and also the left and right click. Now, this afternoon, this is what I want you to do. You will sit, you will open the program, the paint program, and you create a simple image, any image of your choice. And within that image, you will add five colors. So I draw a five point star. And each point here bear a different color. And then I draw a little black, a little, I put a little black five star in the middle and I take the, the pen and each color to the point I draw it up to the right color. And then I draw a couple like little bolt and the third color where it comes from. The attendees of this center are groomed to be versatile individuals. Drama and the arts just make their learning sessions a delightful one. Then, nothing is more exciting than a charismatic music teacher. So, what is this called? A guitar. Good. It's a guitar. It's a classical acoustic guitar. Right? Why it's called acoustic? Because it has nothing to plug to an amplifier. This here is a song box. Right? So when you do it like this, 
you would generate the song and you would hear it, right? This old man, he played tree, he played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack paddy whack. This old man came, oh, come on, Rajkumar. This old man, he played four, he played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack paddy whack, gave a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five, he played knick-knack on my life with a knick-knack paddy whack, gave a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. The volunteers attached to the Rheinfeld Children's Aid Center are not only teachers, but became loving parents over time. It, it feels good that you are here, that you're somebody that they can relate to or somebody that they have confidence in, that they could come and tell you the little secrets. You know, it, it is so, they feel so special in that you're spending that time with them, is that when they come with the other children, they talk about my teacher and my teacher, and, you know, and I have a special teacher and all that. So they feel very special. I think it, it does so much for their ego that, and the morale that they, they, they you know, in the, on the whole, they're, you know, better children. Sometimes I walk in, and for some no other reason, they all run in and I can't walk anymore because I've got children clanging, clinging onto all my, you know, to my legs. And I'm going, children, you're going to have to let go. I can't walk. And uh, I think that's it. You know, you just, a child just comes up and gives you a hug. That's all you need. And you just know you've made that kid's life brighter and better.